SOS Online Backup has been bumping back and forth on offering unlimited cloud backup. Now they decided to go the limited route again because they killed essentially all unlimited claims on their website. They're focusing more on security now. Now, I shoot this video in June 2016, so by the time you watch this, it could very well have changed, so uh, please check their website. But it really won't change a lot on the overall rating of this service here in this video. Unlike Backblaze and CrashPlan, SOS Online Backup doesn't offer a continuous backup mode that sits in the background waiting for files to change. You can set the backup schedule to hourly, which is enough in most cases, yet <sighs> It doesn't really let me feel at ease. Currently, one terabyte of cloud backup will set you back $39.99 per month, but you can connect up to five computers. However, if you compare it with iDrive's $50 per year, this looks very stingy. That being said, SOS has all the features you may expect from a good cloud backup solution, like 256-bit encryption with optional private encryption key unlimited version history recovery, an archiving feature to free up hard drive space, external hard drive backup, um, backing up of network attached storage devices, no limit to um, the number of files or file sizes or type of files. So on the surface, it really looks nice. It really looks like a good cloud backup service. Let's look at some of the pros and cons and explore if this service is really worth it or not. So. I've already pointed out a lot of the good parts of SOS Online Backup. Also, uh, it also has detailed scheduling options, so you can really customize your backups. The software includes the option to backup to a local drive, so you're basically protected both ways, locally at your home or office and in the cloud. Also, when restoring files, you can choose between in-place restoration or a custom file path. If you lose any of your devices, for example, a say laptop at the airport, you can remote wipe data from the comfort of your home or office or mobile device. Now, for what I didn't like SOS Online Backup so much, it has a somewhat clunky interface and it's very expensive compared to CrashPlan's family plan or Acronis's 5 computer backup plan. I found it essentially impossible to find the file sharing options in the client and there is no real continuous backup option available. Now, uploading my 10 gigabyte test folder took three hours and 12 minutes because SOS Online Backup had a really hard time surpassing eight megabit per second in my test environment. Also, you need to have enough hard drive space for it to work properly because SOS will essentially cache your files prior to uploading them, just as any other online backup software would. But um, it does so efficiently with their IntelliCache system, which is both fast and also saves on disk space. Now, if you're looking for a Dropbox replacement or alternative with file synchronization and sharing, SOS Online Backup is really not for you. After 30 minutes of digging, I really couldn't find how file sharing worked via the app. And honestly, I stopped looking after that because I didn't want to spend more time on it. Unlike iDrive, users cannot back up system image files or servers. But then again, this is probably something the average user doesn't want or need to do anyways. So SOS lets users pick between different backup schedules and, uh, and they can receive an email but essentially once a backup tas task has been completed successfully. Or you can view detailed logs of your backup process to see whether everything has been transferred correctly to the cloud. The web client is very bare bones and not a sight to behold, to be honest. It shows customer stats of all the backup files and you can browse the cloud data. But unlike iDrive, there are no options to upload files or folders via the web to back them up. Previewing a files, no chance. In fact, the only real thing I could do there is delete. I was actually hoping to find the sharing option in the mobile client, but to no avail. The mobile client is very bare bones as well and very practical to back up data from your mobile device to the SOS cloud, but for not much else, honestly. Users can favorite items for quick access, but 
those are not made available offline as you may be used to from Dropbox or other mobile apps, for example, SugarSynks. If you need to open a file, a download is required. I'm glad to see that file restoration generally works via the client software, not via downloading a zip file from the web as we see in other services such as Backblaze. Users can search for individual files, typing in a search phrase, which is helpful if just wanting to restore one individual file is all you want. Also, files of a certain size can be included or excluded from the search, which can significantly speed up the process if there are like thousands of files in a backup. Now, I was not very impressed with the restore speed, downloading at an average rate of 7, meg 7 megabit per second. And again, I had the feeling as if SOS Online Backup somehow caps my bandwidth. However, support assured me this is really not the case. However, encryption does slow down the overall restore process. The support experience was generally great. I could get to a live chat agent immediately and he responded to all my questions and queries I had. Overall, SOS Online Backup is a decent yet very expensive cloud backup service and in some respects it feels a little outdated. If they ever go back to the unlimited plan, you should grab it because users are always grandfathered into it. The sharing feature is <laughs> certainly a joke as I wasn't able to find it. I escalated this to their support team because under the Manage Device tab, the only thing I could do is delete a file. If you're looking for a solution that also backs up your mobile devices, SOS is certainly a good choice. However, don't expect more than plain old backup. You won't get a fancy file preview or sharing options from directly from the mobile app. Now, I really hope you like this review and make sure to check out my other reviews on cloud backup services. I've uh, created a whole playlist that you can check out right here. And of course, if you like this channel, if you like my videos, do give them a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. We're gonna see us in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As I've already mentioned, this is a video series of 11 of the best cloud backup services. If you think this provider is something for you, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking the button right here. If you still couldn't decide, make sure to watch my other videos from the playlist and you can access them by clicking on the logos here on this screen or you can check out the links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe.